31,000 students attend them, but what role do Votech schools play? I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is New Jersey State Assemblyman Patrick Dygan, Jr. of the 18th Legislative District. Thanks for being with us. Hi, Jill. Nice for being here. When we talk about vocational <laughs> schools, give us an idea as to what that actually means here in New Jersey and if these are actually public schools. Yes, they are public schools, no cost to the student, transportation costs included, just like any other public school in the state of New Jersey. And I really consider it to be the hidden gem of our New Jersey school system. Um, people are just not aware, really, of the opportunities that vocational schools pose. Uh, you and I were just talking before we went on air. Some of it has to do with the reputation of vocational schools in the past as being, quote, unquote, trade schools. That simply is not the case any longer. Vocational schools offer the same opportunities to go to college as our public schools and, in my mind, offer a whole wealth of other possibilities to kids that we really need to start exploring. More than 30,000 young people attend these schools here in New Jersey. Let's talk about some of those opportunities because, as you mentioned, they can be an opportunity for a path to college, but for other young people, this may be an opportunity to potentially go directly into a career what do these opportunities include, whether you choose one path or the other? One of my favorite quotes is President Clinton's quote, the best social program is a job. Um, you know, we're all aware of now in some of our center cities, Newark, Camden, Elizabeth, unemployment rates of up over 20, 25 percent amongst young people. Most vocational school students, the vast majority, in fact, I'll use a real life example, Middlesex County uh, vocational schools, 85 percent, 85 percent of the kids that decide they don't want to go on to college have a job waiting for them upon graduation because the vocational schools partner with employers in the area and the kids are trained for that particular need. You know, when you look at the challenges that our center cities are now uh, facing, the, the debate about charter schools, the debate about vouchers, etc., why aren't we exploring creating more vocational schools. I mean, if I ruled the world, I'd put three vocational schools in Newark and three vocational schools in Camden and give kids the opportunity to, if they want to go to college, go to college, but if they want to have a job waiting for them, quote unquote, a professional training, the vocational school is there. What about the academic component of these schools? Is that there? You mentioned a potential college track, but can students who attend these schools actually compete when it comes to getting into college? Well, absolutely. Seventy percent. Seventy percent of the most recent graduates have gone on to, to college from the vocational schools. And in fact, in most of our counties now, they are partnering with the county colleges. Again, using Middlesex County, we have the Math and Science Academy on the campus of the Middlesex County College. So the kids are actually taking college courses while they are attending the vocational school. And it's just so many exciting possibilities. And uh, you know, that now more than ever, when jobs are at a premium, it's something we really should be supporting. In terms of potential career tracks, uh, are there different options at different schools? You name it. Uh, if you're down in Ocean County, they, they have a, uh, a curriculum specifically uh, uh, directed towards the ocean and, and uh, uh, needs in that particular area. Middlesex County College has a culinary uh, division. There's an automotive division where 100% of the kids, uh, when they graduate, are actually have jobs waiting for them. So it really depends on the needs of the specific counties, but absolutely positively they train the kids and direct the kids towards what's needed within their area. And we just have a short time left, but if this seems like the right fit for you, for your child, do students need to apply? Yes, in eighth grade. Um, uh, I am actually right now considering legislation mandating that the schools uh, uh, direct the kids in that way. But yes, in eighth grade, they would apply. Thanks for being with us. Anytime, Jill. We've been talking with New Jersey State Assemblyman Patrick Dagnan, Jr. I'm Jill Horner.